Anton, I've got him. Get over here. You're going to have to answer for this one, bucko. Okay, let's see what you've got to say now. Give me mitzvah. Okay. Or would you rather I call the cops? I'm here, aren't I? How about my Walkman? No, I could do with one like this. Nick Page, eh? Hey! You got the little mongrel stealing my business, are you? No, we've got our own business. No law against that. Look, having your own business is one thing, but sneaking behind my back something different. Joe, take it easy. Look, we don't want any trouble, Joe. Yeah, if you and Henry hadn't been slacking off in the first place, none of your customers would have given us a business. You cheeky little... Could call it, Nick. Joe, calm down. No way, Kerry. I'm going to teach this kid some manners, because you're pitching the bread out of our mouths. Yeah, come any closer, mate. I'll smash your face in. Ooh, some heavy stuff in Neighbours there. Come up here. Come up here and meet Mark, who is here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome How back. Are you, mate? Good to Welcome see you Welcome back. Good to see what you, you When you watch the old clips of Neighbours, <coughs> the, yeah. the, the stuff like that, uh, yeah. how do you remember it? What, what goes through your mind? What were you thinking? A lot of fun, basically. Um, that scene you just saw with, uh, with Joe and I, I was just about to hit him over the head with a, with a shovel. <laughs> I, you know, in a couple of tapes, uh, takes, I ended up laughing. So, you know, I had to get that aggression inside me to, you know, oh, I'm going to hit this guy, but, uh, you know. Tell me about Tasmania. I don't know very much about Tasmania. Tasmania. You don't know? No. You don't know much? No, because you were born in Tasmania. I was. I was born in um, Calvary Hospital in Hobart, Tasmania. And um, I lived there for 13 years of my life in a, in a city called Glenorchy. Called? And Glenorchy. Glenorchy. Yep. Which no one's ever heard of, but uh, I went to school, at, you know, in Glenorchy and uh, basically just, you know, spent my childhood there and and moved to Melbourne when... Um, is it very different to Australia, to, you know, sort of being next, so close and next door? It's a lot more quiet, um, a lot more countryside. People are uh, sort of a lot more laid back and, uh, you know, just live their life from, from day to day and don't really dream of big things. They, uh, it's basically just a, a quiet place. Does it have its own sort of... Um, is it separate to Australia? I mean, is there a Prime Minister of Tasmania? No, there's a Premier. Right. Who's a new premier? <laughs> I think it's Robin Gray, but uh, uh, no, it's not separate. It's it's a part of Australia. Mm -hmm. What um, what made you want to move from that? Was it because it was so quiet, and was it easy no. to move? I um I wrote a couple of songs and put them in a talent quest and won a couple of talent quests down there. And a guy called Johnny Young in Melbourne, who used to run a show called Young Talent Time, a singing and dancing show with team members each week, um, asked me to come over and audition for the show. So I uh, auditioned and, and got in, and we all moved to uh, Melbourne, the family and... Oh, the whole family moved? The whole family gave me this chance in a lifetime. And after Young Talent Time, I uh, went to Melbourne Conservatorium and studied music for a little while, and then ended up getting the part of Neighbours and uh, followed up with, with Nick Page. And here I am. And the rest is history, Britain, as yeah. they say. Exactly. We'll talk more later on because the Thanks, technicals and all that sort of business. But would you would help us with hey, the prize picks? No worries. Just dig pick in out there. Yeah. Dig in deep. In deep. The first one from last week. This, of course, is the Anne Charleston competition. Oh. Right, this is from... Uh, Have a yes. neighbour. The, uh, the question, first of all, was uh, there's an Australian pudding with peaches in it that's named after an opera singer. What's it called? Well, you know that easy piece. Peach Melba. Absolutely Actually, correct. Dame Nellie Melba, that was the school I went to. Ne Melba Conservatorium. The Nellie Melba Conservatorium. Dame Nellie Melba, yep. And that's from Alice Early in... Uh, uh, oh, gosh, in Hampshire. In Hampshire. In Hampshire. Beautiful. So, congratulations, congratulations to you. This is your prize. You have won a video of Neighbours Wedding Collection plus a cookbook from a famous Australian restaurant. That's all yours. Well done. Congratulations. It's on its way. Now we have to make our way down the stairs now. Should we go first or do you want to go first? Oh, we'll go first then. Beauty. Okay. okay. Down here. Here we go. Yes, we're going down, 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 down. <laughs> okay, now this is the Steve Wright competition. Oh. I have to swizzle that round a little bit and in you go. Dig deep in there. I go. Steve asks, what does the word karaoke actually mean? Karaoke means uh, empty orchestra. Yeah, it can also mean silent orchestra as yeah. well, so we put all of those in there. Who's the winner? That's uh, from Elizabeth O'Gorman in uh, Liverpool. Congratulations, Congratulations to you, and Elizabeth. you have won, and this is a stunning prize. You've won the full Boogie Box Karaoke 
demo machine and 12 tapes as well. So well done, that's on its way. Wait for the big parcel at your door. Moving on down Moving here. Moving on, here we go. To the Prefab Sprout competition. Oh, In Britain, right they there. said, every year, uh, on August Bank Holiday Monday, there's a carnival held, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, the Nothing Hill Carnival. Notting Hill. Oh, Notting Hill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nothing if you haven't been. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> um, and that's from Francis Malone from uh, Burks. Bakshi, that's it. Oh, Bakshi. Bakshi. Yeah, we, Sorry, all these, all these weird names. Well, it's all right when it's written in full, but when it's shortened, you're in a bit of trouble. Yeah. From Bakshi. So, uh, congratulations, well done. This is your prize. You have won the Prefab Sprout goodies. A picture CD, T-shirt, poster, album, tour book, tape, singles, and a gold record as well. So congratulations to you. Beautiful. And you'll come back a little bit later on and uh, take here. some calls. I'll be here. Brilliant. Well Thanks, done. Mate. Okay. We'll see you later. Yes. Thanks. Sharon, if I'm jealous, it's because of the way I feel about you. All right. It's just not right for me. Well, is there someone else? No. No, that's not the reason I'm doing this at all. But, yeah, I, I do think I should see some other guys. That's why I wasn't good enough. Don't be stupid. Seeing other people isn't the reason I'm doing this. I just... I need to be myself for a while. Why didn't you say something before? Why didn't you say something before if it was such a problem? You never gave me the chance. Can't we talk about it now? It won't make any difference. How do you know unless we give it a try? Please. All right. <laughs> that was one of the most touching moments I've ever seen. Thank you. And she just wanted to be good friends. They always say that. They do. We just want to be good friends. I don't want to spoil a wonderful relationship. We'll just be good friends. I uh, hate that. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that stuff. <laughs> Was it easy for you to cry in, in that situation? You were talking earlier on about the other so clip easy. where, <laughs> where um, you kept laughing when you had to be angry. What yeah. about when you've got to cry? I usually lock myself up in a room for about five minutes and think of lots of bad things. But in that scene that you just... Uh, that you just saw, I had a, a really bad cold, so that sort of added to the effect, you know, mm. um, of, you know, the crying effect. How you doing? You talk like that. And so the, the cold sort of helped And what about there. tears? Were they real tears? Or, oh, or, yeah. Yeah? Because some people have to have them sort of put on, yeah. don't they? Like glycerine type <laughs> of stuff. Just a bit of, you know, Vicks in your eyes or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a bit of lemon juice. Yeah. But, uh, but there's no problem with, like, it just comes spraying out, does it, if you want it? Oh, uh, yeah, most of the time. Well, wow, that's pretty clever, that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole stack of questions to go through. I've had loads on the telephones, and we've got some from our team here who have given me a hat. The uh, Fifth Cardiff Scout Troop, yeah? I think it's a bit mean not giving Mark one, but we don't want to muck his hair up, you see, because he's oh, going to perform in a minute. So sorry. Have you got one for Mark? Got one? What do you mean, no? Give me yours. <laughs> come here, give me yours. Hey. <laughs> hey, no. Give me your hat. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, sorry, he's got, he's got a small head. There we go. How's that? Terrific great, stuff. Great. <laughs> the perfect, the perfect right. fashion I'll, accessory, we think. I'll be with you in a minute. Just, uh, gotta... Here we are. <sighs> Marvellous. OK, yeah. who's on the telephone? Hello, Hi. who's that? Louise Clyder from Stanford. Louise, hi. Off you go with your question. On Neighbours, when you inherit an artist, who does your pictures? Uh, that's a good question, Louise. Um, I have no idea. A guy in props usually does does my um my paintings but i'm not sure of his name are um, you are you any good at art oh, look i'm terrible i couldn't paint my way out of a wet paper bag i, I really couldn't so it's oh, all i can a draw a little i can do a little bit of drawing yeah. but um no good at painting whatsoever it's all a con then it's all a con God. a huge con dear me You're are you, are you any con. good at art yourself um a little bit just a yeah? little bit yeah mm. oh good oh could i have your autograph for um, my mum and i because she thinks you're lovely for sure we'll for take sure. your uh, we'll take your name uh, down and that first first and last now so you were the first to ask so first and last we'll take your name down and we'll, we'll get him to do it for you okay nice to talk to you have a nice saturday Thanks, Louise. Thank you. take bye. care bye oh she's all overcome <laughs> um and first of all uh, from the floor jason yes as you were born in tasmania yeah. was there a real culture change when you moved to australia not at all, because Tasmania is a part of Australia. I, I guess uh, I wasn't used to big cities um, and a lot of traffic and uh, finding my way 
you know, to school and stuff, but no, it was basically just the same. Uh, except the air was, was not as fresh as Tasmania. Is there any competition between, you know, Tasmania being a sort of a small island and, and you know, the huge Australian mainland? Is there a competition between two? Heaps of jokes, heaps of dirty jokes, but I won't, can't tell them any, on TV. Any clean ones? Um, not really, no. <laughs> uh, but from who? To the, from the Australians to the Tasmanians? From the or? Australians to the Tasmanians. Really? Exactly, yeah. Um, no competition whatsoever, basically, I don't think. I haven't found apart any from the jokes. Ex apart from the jokes, yeah. See if you can think of a clean one whilst we're going through the phone call. See if you can think oh. of a clean one, okay? All right. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, it's a sort of clean. Wish it my dad was here. He'd help me. So. Perfectly squeaky clean. Give us a ring, Dad. Yeah, phone quick, quick. <laughs> um, okay, back to the telephones now, and it's line number two. Who's on two? Emily Harris. Emily, oh, yeah. good morning. Do I know you, Emily? He asked, does he know you, Emily? No, not really. Oh, oh. have you met? No, you haven't met. No. no. I thought, oh. I'd, thought I'd met. Sorry. Uh, Off you go with your question. Yeah. What are you thinking about when you're kissing Sharon? Um, <laughs> well, what am I thinking about? Usually I think about people like, uh, like Demi Moore and, and, and stuff like that. <laughs> Close my eyes and, um, I mean, we never tongue kiss in the show. I mean, I'll say that right now, but, uh, Yeah, it's important to say. Yeah, I, thinking of my work, basically, and saying, well, I have to do this, don't I? Do you, fancy Dem do you fancy Demi Moore? Oh, yeah. Did you see Ghost? I did. I, I, I how, cried. Did you how cry? How early? I cried, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, or well, quite a lot, actually, as a matter of <laughs> fact. But um, how soon? When did you fancy Demi Moore? When was the first time you saw that you fancied her? About last night. What a film! What, what a film! film. So all these people were saying, yeah. oh, Demi Moore for the first time. They saw Ringo for the first time. Yeah. And, uh, and then became sort of devotees. I liked her with the long hair. Did you like her with the I long hair? I liked her with long But she's quite sensitive yeah. with the short hair as well. Sorry, Emily. Sorry okay, Emily. Well, it's nice to talk to you, Emily. Thank you very much nice indeed for your call. It's Emily. nice to find someone else who fancies the same person as I do. Right, right okay. Um, Patrick. Patrick has a question. Patrick, now that you've started a singing career, yep. do you think people will see you as another Jason Donovan? Well, um, it's a fact of proving yourself, I guess. Um, I've been singing for 15 years, um, and I'm just about to sing mm -hmm. in a minute. So you can judge from that, take it from that, if you like. It's, um, it's, a, it's a, a very... Um, yeah, I, I know they will. I know people will say, oh, here we go, another one, and blah, blah, blah. Because there is a, there are a lot of us that, you know, come out of soaps and say, oh, that's, I want to be a pop star. Mm. But you actually, yeah. that was actually your first dream, wasn't it? My to, first to love, always. Mm -hmm. I was singing Rock Me. Abba songs at, you know, three years old in front of the family. And <laughs> oh. still, I've got it on tape, actually. I'll bring it in. Yeah, great. That'd be lovely. Sample it. So you'd sing an Abba song, eh? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. No, we'd love to see that. Yeah. Have you got it sure on you tape? Would. No, no send it in. Send it in. Yeah. Send it in. We well, can't really it. see on tape, but uh, no, if it's... listen. Oh, it's not. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a, it's a sound it's a, tape. It's yeah. a cassette. Oh, that's a, a shame. That's yeah. a shame. Well, no, send it in anyway. Well, Beautiful. quite happy to play it. Next on the telephone is line three. Who's on three? Thank you, Annie from New Morden. Hello to you. Shanita? Yeah. Yeah, off you go. Hi, Mark. How are you, Shanita? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Good on you. <laughs> when you were young, did anyone realise your talent for acting? No, I've, um, I didn't really want to be an actor, um, to put it a bit forward. Uh, I, I, I always sang, but, um, no, I, uh, auditioned for Neighbours against uh, about 40 other guys and wasn't expecting it to get the part whatsoever, but um, obviously there was, there was something there that was right for the character of Nick. And um, people obviously saw that and thought, well, we'll give this guy a chance. And, uh, this Were is you surprised? You know, the way it oh, took off? Very surprised. I was over the moon. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Did you not think at, uh, at any stage, uh, hang on a second, this m might very well get in the way of the singing? Always, yeah. yeah. Well, I got myself an agent, firstly thinking that she'd help me with my um, my singing career. Not, uh, but she got me, you know, an acting job, and mm. um, I auditioned and got the part. So, I don't know, another feather in the cap, I guess. Absolutely, uh, a feather in the scout yeah. scout cap. <laughs> uh, line four. Who's on four? Angela Burns. Angela Burns. Good Hi, morning, Angela. Hiya. Good. Off you go. Um, is the street, is it just a set or do people live there? No, real people live there. Though. I think they get paid quite a bit of money for living there too. Um, you know, because we have to dig up their gardens and stuff. But uh, yeah, it actually is a street. But what we do is when we, uh, we step inside the door in the street, we, we cut to studio like that and, uh, you know, as if we've just walked into the door. Um, you sort of mix the two, you know, you know with OB and you know, outside yeah. broadcast and, and whatever. 
but it's a real straight, it is. It has been sort of picked up occasionally for uh, for the odd continuity flaw. Exactly. If someone walks in, walks off the yeah. street and goes on with a hat on and then walks in through the door and they haven't got one. Oh, no. <laughs> how how, long, how long is it? Uh, it's happened to you, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. How long is it between shooting something in the street and then doing something in the studio? A good two weeks. No, quite a long time then, mm. in that case. A good two weeks, yeah. To remember so how you were walking and how you were yeah. looking and all that sort of thing. Exactly. So you, you know, have to get a lot of photos taken and mm. you know, have to take it from there, I guess. So if they miss something, you, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Thank you very much indeed for your call. Thanks for all your Thank calls you. this morning. I'm sorry yes. if we didn't manage to get round to yours, but uh, in the future, would you uh, dig through your competition stuff down here? You can take your hats off, by the way. We'll give it back now. Would you like to have it? You can have your hats back now. We've done, we've done the fifth card is justice, I think, now. There, you there we go. Thanks, have mate. Them back. Um, what have we, we got? Go. What have we know. got? So I just <sighs> feel better now. In here. Oh, look at this. Where did you did you bring this over with you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I um actually I've got a got a couple of those from fans and uh, I bought that over from from Australia. Mm -hmm. With a little Joey in the pouch. I did. Yeah. Oh, actually, I've got about three of them now. He's attached with a bit of string down here. He is. So Are they he like so that in real life? So he doesn't fall out. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, plastic umbilical cord. <laughs> so, the, so the Joey doesn't jump out. Yeah. Signed picture Just hold as well. It. And one of these neighbour's sweatshirts. Neighbour's sweatshirt. What's the question? The question. I have a question for everyone. Mm -hmm. What is the capital of Tasmania? Oh, we sort of gave that away a bit earlier. I on, did. Didn't I, we? Yeah. So that, I that's said okay. It. That's not a problem. So if you rewind your tapes and have a look. That's okay. <laughs> that's all right. So an easy one. <laughs> Quite an easy one. So you could be in the draw for this. Uh, it's what's the capital of Tasmania? Answers on a postcard to us. I'll give you the address in just a moment. Would you wander over and, uh, and do a, give us a song? What are you going to do? I'm going to do uh, a little different version of uh, a help of help. Oh, a right. Beatles, a Beatles song. Oh, so, a difficult uh, one to tackle. Just... You, and, you, and you've got a, a single coming out soon, haven't you? You've got Very soon, soon, yeah. We've had a, a few problems with uh, songs being a, a little bit controversial with the war. Mm. But, uh, but you've changed. You've changed what you were war, going to, which release. we hope won't be. But uh... yeah, absolutely. So you'll, but but that means something different in the future. Exactly. You'll yeah. change. You'll change what you're going to do. Something right, well, different. I'll wait till you uh, you get you get yourself limbered up. And here's the address. It is going live. BBC Television, London W12, 7RJ. Single from Mark in a few weeks. But now, help. <laughs> I do. 